It's time to cross the river sticks to paint this miniature. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Well, I listened to my viewers. They wanted a boss to be painted, so I'm painting Charon. He's the ferryman. He's primed in matte white. And what are we doing? We're starting with a base? I never do that. Yep, we're using some, uh, what is it? Swamp Green Gel from AK Interactive's Diorama series. Why am I doing this now? Because there's many layers to do to this base and I wanted to dry, so I stick it in front of a fan by the way. If you do that, it'll dry really quickly. Otherwise, it takes quite a while to dry. But these inter AK Interactive things, I find they dry pretty well. And you can see that swamp green. Look at that dried up now. Tesseract Glow is our next thing. Okay, this is gonna look like I'm totally messing up this miniature most of the time, but you saw from the picture, it's gonna turn out looking amazing. So this Tesseract Glow is to make it that the swamp water after the first layer has kind of a glow to it uh, and also I want to try and do this OSL uh, on the bottom of it but it looks horrible anyways hex rate flame is our next color this is a technical paint from Citadel we're gonna be doing this on all the I don't know if you I guess it's his clothing from Charon himself uh, that's going into the water or is it coming out of the water into him like almost like the the vapors or the souls uh, clothing, I, I don't know, like it's hard to explain, but again, it looks weird the colors I'm choosing, but this will all work out in the end. Uh, Night Hunt Gloom, this is another technical paint by Citadel. I don't use these very often, so I'm glad I'm able to use them on here. And this is just going to be for those bodies that are sticking out of the water, trying to get back onto the ferry, trying to get back to the world of the living. I'm also going to tie it into his cloth. Like, he's technically all got a gray clothing on, but I wanted to tie it into uh, all of this coming down and mixing into those souls. Anyways. Uh, I will be doing a couple more bosses and then I'll be going back to some heroes and then I'm gonna do some minions I'm gonna jump back and forth. So I'm really glad to hear you guys are appreciating these videos um, If you're really liking them, please hit that like button and let's please get some more subscriptions All right guys if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and support me It's really important and it means a lot as well As you can see that's pretty cool that that night on gloom it does a good job i didn't know how good it did on top of white it does almost like a shade almost skeleton horde now our citadel contrast paint we're using this on his face his hands and this skull on the front or i should say on the bow of the boat am i saying that right folks <laughs> the bow and the stern is the back and then you got port side and or aft oh god i don't know anymore yeah so here we go we're doing the hands now Again, Skeleton Horde, perfect for that. Basilicatum Gray, now this is going to be for entirety of his cloak. Uh, again, contrast paints over just white is amazing. It does the highlighting for you. You could finish it off with a little dry brush on this cloak of maybe a, like a lighter color. Or maybe even a hint of like a light blue maybe even would have been cool to make it look like the, the, the hue of the water. Or even like a light green maybe. But uh, I, I will do some dry brushing on some other parts later on. You'll see how I tie in all the bottom of the boat together. That'll be pretty cool. Alright, we're just going to finish off with that Basilicanum Gray now. Before moving on to the next step. And the next step is actually going back to that water gel swamp green diorama stuff. I'm going to be putting on a second layer now. And this is going to start adding a little bit more depth as well. You're going to want to put on a little bit thicker. Again, I don't think I put on thick enough. I do put on a little bit thicker though around like the area of the boat. Uh, I also try to create waves just by like patting it down and lifting it back up. As you can see it dried there. I don't know if you'll notice right away. But Wildwood is next. And this is going to be for the... I'm going to say the stern and the bow of the boat. So this is like these wood... Uh, carvings that are on the front and the back of the boat. Uh, Wildwood is a great color for this. It makes it really dark. It makes it like gringy, scary. I don't know if it's gringy really or grungy or no, it's not that bad. It's not that scary. It just makes it look like a nice piece of the boat that's well decorated. And don't worry about hitting that those ropes and all those medallions and stuff like that because we're going to be coming over those and painting them again later.
And a quick dab of apothecary white on that lantern in the front. It was white in the artwork. It looks like it has a white light coming out of it. I could have put a little bit of dairy, fairy, dairy dust, fairy dust on it, but I didn't. Flesh hair is red is our next color because we're using this for his eyes, or at least one part of his eyes. Uh, the skeleton, sorry, not his eyes. Uh, the boat. Snake bite leather. Now we're doing them pretty much the rest of the boat now with this color. Uh, this gives a nice color to the wood. I wasn't sure what I wanted because it was lighter than the rest of the ship or the boat, I should say. Not ship, there's a difference. A boat can fit on a ship. <laughs> I've been told that. Um, so, yeah, so this is pretty much like for all the benches and everywhere else that hasn't been touched pretty much. There's an area I won't be touching because I'll be using another color on top of that. But like I said, the snake bite leather did a really good job of giving this old wet look to the boat it was pretty cool actually so if you don't have this and if you're using just regular paints i mean uh any kind of lighter brown and with a wash on top will do the job right we're gonna be finishing off the wood on the on the boat now with some saigor brown this is where those like uh symbols are it's like an extra plating of wood that's on top of the other part of the boat so I wanted to make sure this popped a little bit more, so I went a little bit darker. Uh, okay, we'll pop. I mean, it is darker, but still, it shows more than just having it all the same brown, right? Uh, so there you go. We're also going to do his staff with this Wildwood. Uh, or is it? No, Saigor Brown. Sorry, not Wildwood. Saigor Brown. <laughs> Got mixed up there. Uh, this, Like, again, it's, it's a flat surface, so there's not going to show much, like, highlighting and stuff like that. But at least it's going to tie it into the color of the, the ship, or the boat, sorry. Now we're going to do this halo that's around his head with some fairy dust uh, because like in the artwork it just looks like he has these golden stars around his head floating there and of course they can't do that with plastic. I mean they could have maybe made it a clear plastic maybe in this part. I don't know if they could have but anyway so the fairy dust will just make it look like it's just shining uh, and we'll come back and do the stars once that's dry. Now we're using some rigid brown. This is a zombie side invader unique paint so you can't get this anywhere else except for in that paint set. Uh, it's a lightish brown with a bit of orange hint to it just a little bit i found it was perfect for these ropes it doesn't show too too much but once it dries perfectly uh, you don't have to put a wash on it either after it's almost like a highlight to these ropes because you did get some with the uh, snake bite leather i got some with the wild wood uh, so it's just pretty much tying it all together the ropes and all that so you don't have to worry too much uh, even any light brown will work, or even like a like a dirty or a yellow would probably work. Mythical orange now to finish off the eyes on that skull in the front of the boat. Aethermatic blue. This is where we're going to be tying in all that mess of a weird paint job I did on the bottom because I found it was too fluorescent, it was too bright, and I didn't like that. So putting this aethermatic blue on top of all the parts on the bottom, like the 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 skin of the the soles, the so I think this did the effect i wanted and i'm also going to touch up something else later with it to make it really come out and pop and i find this is the focal point like you have charon himself who looks amazing like on the boat itself but i found that this was the focal point of the miniature and you really wanted people's eyes to be attracted to this so i had to fix this and i did so i'm glad i was able to figure that one out now that that fairy dust is dry, we're going to use some Retributor Armor. This is a base paint from Citadel. It's a, almost a darker gold color, but this is perfect for all those little pointy things coming out of his head. Now, it's funny because like in the artwork, they're stars. Like It actually looks like a little star, and here it's just like lines. So it's kind of funny that they kind of changed it anyway. So a little bit of Retributor Armor on that, and uh, that'll be done for that part of the miniature. Now we're going to be using some lead belcher, uh, metallic paint from Citadel, and this is going to go on all these little medallions that were near the ropes that we did a while ago with their rigid brown. So just a few of those on the uh, bow of the boat there. So just put a little bit of metallic and it gives a little shine to it as well. Next thing now, we're doing some skink blue dry brushing. So this is a dry paint and right off the bat, you can see how it's just blending in all the bottom part of the boat and i do hit some of the boat as well and i didn't care because i wanted a bit of a glow to go on to the ship or the boat as well so and the skink blue was perfect for that uh it is hard to get out of your brush after though hellion green our next dry paint we're doing this on all the swamp water on the base as you can see now it really gives that wave effect and there you go folks charon 
painted ready for the table the big boss here of massive darkness not the, not the big big boss but one of them i hope you enjoy hit that like button hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all in the next one